start with um, talk about your career a little bit and kind of what led you to Greenville. Um, so out of college. We have to do this right here. Can see you. Uh, can I please have the Columbia? I would say Greenville is definitely an up and coming area. Big city feel with a small town feel, all kind of combined in one, which is cool. You don't get that a lot of places. I didn't know anything about Greenville when I was coming here, so, and everyone says down south people are super nice, so it's amazing to meet people here and playing for this great club. Great people. Um, want to do things right in the community and I think the people want to see continued growth here so the economy has been fantastic in terms of that growth and now we're hoping that we can see the growth in soccer you know at the pro level. I think anytime you experience growth it's uh, fun to, to, to be in right all these experiences are new and the new experience is always the most exciting because it's something that you've never been a part of before and I think that's one of the biggest draws of Greenville is is to come in and to be a part of the, the beginning of something great. Well, Greenville has officially been awarded a professional soccer team. Andrew Phillips is a founding member for the Soccer to Greenville movement that helped make it happen. Trying to get people's attention has been a lot easier than we thought. The American Outlaws has a chapter here, right? And so it's a, there's a core group of folks that watch all the national soccer games. Heard rumblings that USL was sniffing around. This group of folks were all like, hey, that's amazing. None of us had the financial capital to do anything about it. <laughs> so what can we do? And I was like, hey, Let's start a grassroots like social media blast and see how many people are actually interested in this type of thing. There is a big soccer presence in the upstate and they just needed a team to rally behind. You know, we ended with basically almost a thousand signatures on it in just a few weeks. It's like, oh wow, like this is actually, this, this is real. Um, and I still didn't really grasp how big it was going to be. It was something that started from nothing and, and grew into this this thing that I was just watching the ticker go up every every few hours. It was it was pretty it was pretty exciting. It usually starts from somebody being a catalyst, um, and it just so happened to be the Rudy River Riot, our supporters group, to push that through. Take the risks when we need to. Let's enjoy the game. Work hard, guys. Here we go. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Points on three. One, two, three. Points. It's 1-0 to the Triumph here in minute 19. To Muhammad. Muhammad racing the other way. Cuts it back. Good look. Shot coming. And then Carlos Gomez, his fourth in two matches. And does that seal the deal on the three points for the triumph? A club is more than just the players, coaches, and front office. It's it's the fans. It's a whole club. Parks did a good job of recruiting guys not only who are good soccer players but have good character as well. So it's oftentimes not really a burden for players 
to get out into the community. In 1996, coming back from Europe and uh, playing with West Ham and then transitioning into Major League Soccer for the first year, we were salesmen of the league. The guys know what they're doing when they get to the community. They know that's a responsibility of being a pro player in this country. We're new. No one, you know, no one really knows what we're about. They don't know, you know, what we have to offer and showing them that we offer more than just 90 minutes a week, uh, you know, on a Friday or Saturday night, uh, says everything. It's just so cool to see them out there and really wanting to ingrain themselves in Greenville beyond just playing soccer. They want to truly make a difference. So humbling to be a part of a group of people that genuinely uh, want to spread the love of soccer and just the love of community in general. Um, you know, I, I can't say enough about it. I, I've been able to start a petition, but it's not me, it's everybody else. Um, you know, that, that's really made this great. The growth of Greenville and the connection to the community is only going to continue to grow. I think we've made huge, huge growth already. So we're putting it on the map. 